Well, well, well. Oh my goodness graciousness. Jay Daniels off grid. You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Jay Daniels. So Jay. Oh. <laughs> so I got I got my axe handles off the lathe the copy lathe right friends we had them at Bunyan but I couldn't take them home on the plane so Nick Pixel sent me about about 10 7 of these and 3 wedge bangers And I put the time in on this handle because it's my first hang off the copy lathe. And I'm going to be quite honest. I just, well, I made these for me, right? I did. I made them for me. So they're obviously going to be wonderful for me, for what I think is is that all round wood splitting chopping whatever it's a 31 inch handle <laughs> and you're not going to catch me well here look it i'll show you this okay mark Gaines, you crazy guy gain oh my goodness look at all the super chatters already holy cow Gainesies, i love you buddy thank you so much Gosh almighty, I'm going to put you guys over here because I got my fire going. I know you can't see it, but what, wait, Gainsies. There was a couple other super chatter. Let me get my business straight here first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can get you guys lit up too. Oh yeah, I can. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at this. This is why I like this thing. Look at that. So now when I come over to show you guys and gals and women and children something, something like this. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't wait. I got to get some Whitney art. Gosh. So this is what I want to show you. Check it out. When you're building axe, you want to have a tapered fit. Look at that light shine now, friends. Talk to me about that. Hey, who's this? Jason Turney. Jason, thank you, brother. What happened here? Jason. Hey, Jason, did I screw up? No, I didn't. Good. There was another $5 super chatter. What happened? Friends, did I, did I miss something? Who else sent, who else did the super chat? I missed it. Gainsies, we love you. Lyle Davis, thank you very much. I think there was another one and I missed it. I sure hope I didn't. Pole driver, good to see you. King Lamar. The wood bullets aren't ready yet. They probably never will. Jamie did five. Yeah, thanks, Jamie. No, I'm just kidding. Wood bullets aren't happening yet. Goodness takes time. I'm about ready to, but anyways, here, I don't like having to go back there to talk to you guys, gals, women, and children. Let's get on, let's get straight here. Wow. I hope everybody's well. That I do hope. I just talked to a good friend of mine through the channel. He says he got hammered on the, on the, uh, Scotty, I can't, I can't believe that. I don't know if you're watching, Scott, but he got hit by that freaking tornado, friends, that hurricane. 
and uh, it took his whole house, it took everything he had, eight vehicles, his house, his business, he had to, he had to lay people off. It was horrible, horrible when it's close to home like that, when you know people that have been in it. Hurts. Now, I got to get on to my uh, thing here. Okay. Here we go, friends. Sorry. There we go. There we are. Eric Halbert. Thank you, buddy. Fern Hopper Timberworks. Hey, Buckin' Paul Bunyan was great. Yes, it sure was, wasn't it, buddy? Put you out great. Oh, thank you, pal. I appreciate you. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Joe Wag, good day, Buckin. Matt Man, nice to see ya. Salamander. Have you ever used an MS-231? Never even heard of one, buddy. Never even heard of one. Welcome, Def Kong. Christine says, welcome to Def Kong. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Persico, Persuki, Persico. Emmanuel, hey buddy, thanks. Bump at 88, remember to hit the like button, folks. That's actually a good, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And uh, here, this is, this is what we'll do. This is we'll, we'll get the light buttons happening here. Let's uh, let's let the love hang out a little bit here. Let's hang up the very special, the very special. Let's get let's get to it here. Let's uh, let's hang up our shirt. Let's start out today with a little love. We got super chatters running crazy. We got Mr. Gill just knocked down two dead trees in the yard. Learned a lot from Buckin. It went perfect. Thank you, Mr. Gill. Good to hear from you. Hippie Mike. Hippie, how you doing? Um, uh, Blake Derwis, did ever fly you out of Prince Rupert? My wife's from Prince Rupert. She was born in Prince Rupert. McNeil's fisherman. Blake, good to see you. Emmanuel, we love you, brother. Oh my goodness, who's this character? Scotty, Scotty Price. Hey Buckin, new to the channel, loving the content. Scotty, you freaking super chatted me $50. You must really like it. <laughs> Thank you, pal. Appreciate you. Well, you know what I'm going to do for you, Scott, right now? It's just how it goes because we all, we're all the same, right? We're all the same. Public speaking is one of the most scariest things in the world for people to do. Can you not agree? Of course it is. So my wife was going to throw out this little amplifier thing here. It may squeak. got some dust in it I'll guarantee that
you, bud. All right. Let's get back to business here. Thanks, Scott. Gainsies, thank you. Emmanuel, we talked to you, buddy. Good to see you. What a treat. OPG, Nikki Walsh, Marty Rudder, my buddy Marty. Hey, Buckin, play that music, right? <laughs> Derbs, loving the blows. Loving the blues, gotcha. Twig, good to see you. Syria, love from Syria. Oh, yeah. Syria. You, do, do you guys see what I'm saying? Syria, Slovenia, Japan, freaking Turkey. There's people all over the world. This is the thing. This is the this is the tool, the channel, the this is the thing, the worldly thing. This thing pulls us out of the bite. Guarantee you watch. The internet will pull us out of the bite. Shop Cat Industries. Not to mention an old pioneer and a crazy snowblower. There you go. You bring me comfort. Chris Melvin, buddy. You bring me comfort. Thank you, Chris. Those are nice words. Thank you. Do you know what, friends? I received an email today from one of my long-term friends. One who, a fellow that's been here since the start. His name is Thomas Evans. Thomas, are you in the freaking live feed right now, brother? Thomas, what a heartfelt email you sent me. I want to read it to people. Only with your permission. What a freaking heartfelt message that was. It made my morning. I'll be honest, it did. Thomas could very well be in here. Tom Joyner, nice to see you, buddy. Want your own Buck and merchandise? Check out the store, buckandbillyray.com, right there. Got the, you got to get the gullet. Don't. Let's not be mistaken. That's what it is all about on the old power saw pile. Much love from Wisconsin. Matt Palmer. Matt, nice to see you. Jason Turney. Uh, Buckin, want you to design me a wedge banger. Well, I am designing a wedge banger, brother. I am. And it's going to look very similar to this, but the head will be different. I've already made the handle for it, brother, right there. Straight, but a 28, 29 inch handle. Why not, right? You make it make it so that everybody can use it, right? Everybody can use a straight handled axe. You can split wood with this thing if you want. This is a heavy head. This is a little heavier than what I would probably put on. But friends, if you buy a handle and it's too small, you can't add wood to it. So I built this handle for me, how I like it. And I even took a little off because you never know when they come off the lathe, they can be a little teeny bit different than what you, right? Until you perfect it. This is crazy. So we're going to, this is all got to, I know I've been talking about the wood bullet for a long time, friends, but we got people on it. Uh, Brad was struggling with it for a while. He's still poking away, but I'm not putting no pressure on nobody. I don't want, I don't want people's lives that are working with me to be, uh, either under the gun or under the they make their own way everybody who works with me has free reign to make their own way or trip and fall face first in the mud it's up to them that's how i roll where do you go to get one you don't jay you you don't you don't go anywhere to get one you'll, you'll come here to get one when it's ready they're not ready yet pal the axe handles are, are not ready for sale yet. We're very close for the axe handles. Friends, listen. If you're planning on hafting an axe, this is how it should go for you. This is what should happen. That's what should happen. Seriously, that, that's what should happen. And then, and then, 
See this? Look, I showed this earlier, but I'm going to show it again. See this? That's pretty bright, isn't it? You see the tapered fit? It's like a glove is right, Mr. Nick Pixel. You're darn tootin', Joe Rainus. Kevin disobedience. No way, Kev! Kev! <laughs> Kev, I saw you the other day doing a video. I watched one of your videos. It's good to see you, young fella. <laughs> I love it. What were you doing? What was Kevin disobedient doing? What were you freaking doing? Buddy, listen, Kevin, I'm going to tell you something right now, and I'm going to tell it right to you while you're here right now. Don't stop what you're doing. Follow your freaking heart, brother, okay? You're a good man. You got a good heart and a good spirit, and, and just roll with the God-given gifts, brother. Seriously, Kev, I, I wouldn't waste my breath on you, on anybody, if I didn't want to speak the truth. And the truth is, is you're a gifted young man. I can see it in you. You got a shining light, the same light everybody's got. But you're you're dibbling with it. I can see you're 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 flickering with the switch, Kevin Disobedient. I like it. I like your stuff, Kev. You're a good man. I'm nobody, Kev. I'm nobody. Okay. I'm just a dude that's decided to tap in to what I was given and share that with people. I'm not gonna try and be a, a, a carpenter or a electrician or talk to you about mechanics because guess what i'm not any of those things i'm an axe man i'm a wood man I'm a, I'm a power saw guy a tree man a logger that's what i do and a man with love in my heart so those are the things that i can touch on uh buddy you you, you got a good message i know you do i know you do emmanuel music wood splitting fireplace is what we need today close to the war close the close the problem ah close the war close the problem i love you bucking come to visit me <laughs> hey emmanuel listen bud listen i'm telling you something right now i gotta turn that stove down that's cooking now what are we doing here right Seriously, what are we what are we doing here? I, I I don't know what you're doing. All I know is what I, I know what I'm doing. And I, I've decided to step in the arena, which is here. I talk about the arena. You guys are in the stands. I'm in the arena. So you can start throwing darts at me or you can send me some love. Totally up to you. A thumbs up would be a good start. That helps everything. Look at this now. You got people. There's Emmanuel with another freaking super chat. Emmanuel. I love it. We got to talk to Andy Big Sharp Dome Bucking. Good to see you. Glad I can finally make it on this beautiful Sunday. You rock. Andy, thank you, brother. I appreciate the support. We got a $20 super chat from a man named R.N. Johnstone. Howdy from North Carolina. Love, Youngs. Love Yuns. Okay, brother. It's got love in it. That's good. Thank you, buddy. And we got Scotty Price. Hey, Bucken, new to the channel. We talked to Scott and we thanked him. Friends, please thank the Super Chatters for us. What a great thing to do. Ian Campbell, nice to see you. Thumbs up. Appreciate it. When did you decide you would be a woodman? Oh, God, I think I was born a woodman. I was running around the woods as a little teeny kid, chopping trees down with my mom's butter knife, kitchen knives. I, I was pushing snags down in alder hardwood fields, shaking them and dodging snags my whole life. No, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you the straight goods. I grew up out in the woods. So, but it wasn't until, it wasn't until that I, I put away all the substances in my life because I was about to... Uh, I was about to go to the other side there a few times and I decided that I better put substances away out of my life. And that's actually when my life began. That 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 is, that's when my life began actually, is when I quit drinking and drugging. And uh, I went and bought a power saw. And as a matter of fact, that power saw is sitting right up there on the wall. It's a Mac 110. It's right there. So I was 27 years old salamander and i walked up to my boss and i was in i was in uh, in sales 
And I walked up to my boss and I said, boss, this is after I sobered up. And then I came back to work. And I, when I got back to work, I was like, what, what, what in the heck am I even doing here? I, I'm, I'm not going to be unhappy anymore. I've suffered enough by my own fruition. I suffered. We all, listen, friends, you, you, you want to know what the problem is? You want to know what the problem is? I'm going to show you what the problem is right now. It was very simple for me. It's this. There. You want to know what the problem is? That. Right there. Me. I was the problem. And you may be yours. You may be yours as well. I don't know. But I was mine. I was mine. Terribly mine. So, yeah. I got out of my way. If that makes any sense. I got out of my own way. I shared things I wasn't proud of, things that I had done, things that had happened to me, skeletons, you know what I mean? Those skeletons in the closet when you think about those things you did and you get a little bit of a quiver or, or, or shame or guilt around it. You go, oh, I wish I hadn't have done that. Those things. Those are the things that I shared. I call them goodies. They're the goodies in life. And, and the reason I call them goodies is because you feel good after. You share them. You feel amazing. You feel free. So, so I felt I felt free. And to be honest with you, I'm starting to feel freer now. I felt very free at Bunyan. I don't know why. I just think it's the evolution of a soul. I, I'm just I'm I don't I don't care. I think is is what it is. I, I don't care. I'm invincible for starters, and actually, so are you. You are invincible. You are. If you get hurt feelings, that's not on me. It's not. It's on you. So when you, when you go down a road of self-exploration from here to here, it's not a very far distance, but it's probably the longest journey you'll ever take. Uh, I decided to do it. There's my buddy right there, Thomas Evans. I definitely will add you to contacts. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. Thomas Evans right there. He was one of the first guys that ever bought an ax off me for 150 freaking dollars. Thomas Evans. Thomas, I love you, brother. Is he in here? I'll tell him we're live. Let's do it. We're live. Come say hi. Look out for Thomas Evans. Friends, he sent me the most crazy email this morning. It was nuts. Uh-oh, we got super chatters. We got Nick Pixel. Dart, he, he love y'all. There's Mr. Pixel with the $20 super chat. Mr. Pixel. Oh, speaking of Mr. Pixel, um, I'm going all over the place. We got to do one thing at a time here. Hey, who's that? See, once I start reading, I can't stop. You got a $50 super chatter fella here. You know what it looks like? It looks like Mr. Freaking. It's Justin Bouchain. Love for all. Thanks, Buckin. Mr. Bouchain, brother, thank you so much. You, dude, <laughs> just thank you, pal. Thank you. You folks make this so worth it. Hi, Bucket. Nice to see you. Bjorn Olson. Bjorn, nice to see you. Woody. Thanks, everyone. Christine. Cody, that's awesome. One day at a time, brother. Good man, Cody. That can only mean a good thing. Hey, from Denmark. Will there be an episode with Morgan and his brother's story? Morgan and his brother's story. I don't know who... The, I don't know who... I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, to be honest with you. Are you talking about my buddy Morgan from Who Fixed My Trucks? Is that who you're talking about? I'm not sure what you're talking about, buddy. I wish I, I, wish I knew. Bucking question for you. How did your son nicknames? Oh, it's very simple. Hogan. Hoganges. Hogan. That's it. Plain and simple. Hoganges. Right? It's just, just what comes off my tongue. 
Hogan, Hoganjis. Simple. That's it. I'm a simple man. I don't want to think too hard about stuff. I want to feel. Ola Bri Brivik. Ola Brivik. Ola. 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 What a nice name. Ola. I like that. Thank you for your support. Sincerely. Thank you. Dawu. Dawu. Mr. Gaines. Ola, thank you, says Christine. Friends, let's thank Christine. And let's thank Ola. Thank you for your attitude and direction, how to be kind and tough, man. Salamander. Salamander. Buddy, we all have, I guess, maybe an image of what a man should be. Men and women are so different. Growing up without a dad, I kind of, I didn't really have that, that, in a nutshell, that, didn't have that. So growing up, I had these other role models out there. Muhammad Ali, right? Rocky Balboa, right? It ain't how hard you can hit. It's how hard you can get hit and get up and keep going. It almost brings tears to my eyes thinking about that. You don't have to be. It's the quiet, kind man who is tough, is tough as nails. It's the quiet ones you got to watch out for. So, buddy, uh, thank you for the words, but you can be kind and strong at the same time. You can actually be stronger, tougher, when you're kind. So, Salamander, listen to your heart, brother. I don't know how old you are. Are you 24, 27, 24, 25, 26? Right in there, Salamander. Talk to me, brother. How old are you? Give me something to work on. I'm feeling that you're in the 24 to 27 realm. Maybe I'm wrong. I have been many times. What do you got, Salamander? How old are you? Auction, Indiana. Brother, I love you. Rob Rains. Don't mistake in kindness for weakness. That is absolutely true. That's happened to me lots. And people, they kind of get schooled fairly quickly. <laughs> do you plan to visit? Is that Europe? Absolutely, I do. Probably sooner than later. Uh, Thomas Evans. Thomas Evans made it. Yeah. Thomas. Nice to see you, Buckin, and everyone. Ola, you asked me where I was from on the last video. I'm from Norway. Very cool. Love your videos and the knowledge about chainsaws and maintenance. Ola, excellent. Thank you. Um, Jeff Salisbury. And I think someone needs some Buckin apparel. I'm thinking maybe Miss Katie Pixel. Love y'all. Miss Katie Pixel. Oh, Jeff Salisbury's put a, a super chat in for Miss Miss uh, Miss Pixel. There we go. Thanks, Jeff. That's a good idea. Is she on here? I know Nick is. He's 40. Salamander's 40, but I try to show the position to my son and my young. Younger friends, good for you, Salamander. You are being watched, just so you know that. Brother, just so you know that, you're being watched closely, closer than you think. You are. We all are. By the younger generation. We are. People always say that to me, Buck, and put eye protection on the younger people. The younger crowds watching you put eye protection on well give the younger crowd some credit is what I say they're smart they're smarter than a lot of us are they can make their own minds up you, you discredit the youth when you say something like that in my opinion you do you discredit them they're smart if they want to get physical and get out there and get their hands dirty and roll around they're going to do it I hope they do. 
Oh, frozen screen. That means we got low battery. I'll change that right now. Let's, let's fix that up, friends. Here, I'll get you guys straight. Sorry, friends. I was, uh, I lost my, are we back on? Okay, are we rolling again? Is everything good? Nick Pixel, don't even start that. Nick Pixel, you dirty rotten sock, you. Good morning, Bucket. You're a good man. Says Fula Flav. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Mr. Auction, Indiana. Bakken, you are welcome to visit me and my family in Europe. This is what I'm saying. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you very much. Nicholas Outdoor says, yup. Mark Jorner says, 10-4. Or Jordry. Bought an old home light because of your good word. 24-inch bar. Good man. Bucken, I've been a subscriber from day one. Love your channel. Love the message you send. I'm a tree guy myself and have learned a lot from your channel. I'd love to meet you someday and shake your hand. Well, you're going to have that opportunity and I'm going to have the opportunity to meet you because I'm traveling all around the place. I was just at Paul Bunyan. So we'll be, uh, I met some guy named Stephen Gwynn. You should have seen that character. Man, he was lit up like a freaking Christmas tree. He was just, ah, he was so full of excitement. Stephen Gwynn. <laughs> Stephen, how are you, buddy? Love wins, Johnny Such. Thumbs up and lots of love. Thank you, buddy. Desiree Hayden. Desiree Hayden. Emmanuel. Oklahoma Deadwood. Huge fan. You're a good man. From Oregon, Deadwood. Okami. Thank you, Okami. JD, Husqvarna all the way, brother, for my fallen saws, but I like them still top handles, the old 200T. I do like those. Still's got some good saws, but I'm a Husky man, and I'll show you why. Well, I'll show you that after. But I'm actually a Mac man, really, in the heart. We got to get this straight, friends. Let, let's, let's get this straight. Give me a second. Just give me a sec. We're going to hang this real quick. hang on Had to put a kerf in it and now we're gonna slam it home I don't know if I'm gonna burn this handle yeah I guess maybe I will it's gonna burn up real nice but mind you just hang on a sec friends just wait I thought I had um, where is that sucker I don't have the greatest burning uh, apparatus right now. What's this? Hey, maybe this will maybe this will come in handy, friends. See, I think we're down on jam. Yeah, we are. Okay, so what we gotta do is get rid of this. This is that map gas. It's hot. This is hot. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna burn this handle. Whoa, who's that? Jeff 
Salisbury. Oh yeah, did we get Katie? Did we get Katie something? Katie, or is Katie on or just Nick? Jeff, did you notice? Here, let's put this up so I can hear what you guys are saying here. Justin Beauchamp. What a guy, Justin. Thank you again, Justin. I appreciate you, bud. Uh, we got uh, Bruce Manley and Robin. Nice to see you. Shop Cat, great to see you. Christine, thank you, Jamie. Whoa. Jeff's stripe. What kind of saw is that hanging in front of your nameplate? My nameplate? What are you talking about? That thing? That's a that's an IEL. 1949 IEL. burn friends on this one this is my first axe from uh, coming off the lathe That's actually coming up nice. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go a little darker. There we go. Look at that. Gotta keep her moving, friends, or you'll get black spots. We just had something go crazy here, friends. Yeah, we did. We had a couple super chatters in. We got to talk to these people, friends. Look at that. That is not the wood. It is the wood nerd. I can't believe this. Keep going, Bucking. I'm coming around. Oh, yeah. The wood nerd. Buddy, it's so good to hear from you. Seriously, bud. I'm coming around for your information, my bucking special. Number four, cut two cords of Eastern Hardwood this weekend. Get Katie a hoodie. Yes, buddy. Friends, listen, you, you, you have to understand my excitement. Listen to this. The Wood Nerd was number four of my first axes I ever sold. He's in the live feed. His name's The Wood Nerd, Billy Boy. Thomas Evans is in there too. Thomas, do you remember what number you were? 
I had this big plan of, of, of writing like uh, authentication letters and all this stuff. None of it happened. Friends, I sold, I remember saying, I'll sell 20 axes and that's it. I lost money on every single freaking one of them, I think. I sold them for $150, not lost money, but you know what I'm saying. It was crazy. I'll never forget all these people that, that bought those axes. They sold overnight, by the way, friends. They sold overnight. And Billy Boy, I'm so glad to hear from you. It's crazy. 50 bucks, Billy, that's a lot of money. Wow. Holy cow. Miss Katie, is she in? There she is, right there, Katie Pixel. Katie, we got to get you a hoodie. I need you to email Christine at christine at buckandbillyray.com. Get yourself a hoodie coming at you from, from Jeff Salisbury and the Wood Nerd. You guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. Listen, do I have to come over there and check out? Okay, forget it. All right, it's time. straight let's get this axe on here that was just a little solo now this handle is el nutsoid look what just happened see the consistency in the burn look at the grain look at this you know what that's for right this thing's Paul Reynolds, he likes the harmonica. Now check this out, friends. So, so watch what I do here, right? Okay, you can see, see the handle there? It's just peeking above there, see that? Look at this. We got a, we got a, a heat crack right there, see that? Heat crack. There's another one in the handle. This is really dry wood. Let's do this. So you can imagine what just happened, right, friends? You can imagine that tapered fit that just happened, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dead square. That's what an axe is supposed to look like. So that when you go through the wood, you don't shank the sides off the handle. Okay, we got room. I can't believe this, it's dead square. Well, I can believe it because I built it like that. This is, this is, this is really, really nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we should almost go down and split some wood somewhere. I don't know where he is. I'd have to go to Root Rot Ronnie's and we can't do that right now. What did I do with that harmonica? Oh, it's right there. Put it back in its case. We don't want dust getting in there. 338 people. Wow. Holy smackers. Terry White. My buddy Terry White. Terry White was at the Paul Bunyan show. Terry, how are you? Good to see you, Terry. Jamie Bark and Spider. What a channel. It just grows with atmosphere and kindness and manners. Manners is huge, I tell you. Love the video about starting a YouTube channel. Kane Custom Garage. Okay, nice to see you. Well, buddy, I, I used to bite my tongue a lot, Kane. You know what I mean? I did. I, I used to bite my tongue a lot. Um, 
But I believe I've put the time in now where I can speak to certain things. Um, and and it's all it's just my opinion, right? So it doesn't really matter anyways. It's, the opinions don't really matter. Mine sure don't. But I still got one. Justin Weaver. Stay safe, Bucking. Will do, Justin. Thank you. Mark Jodry. Christopher. RTRP Toe, love your enthusiasm. R Retreat Toe 7. Hey, thank you, pal. Appreciate you. Terry White, no complaints. KMLP, Billy, what is the best ratio fuel and oil for saws? Well, I don't believe there's a best, uh, a best ratio. Um, if you're scared of 50 to 1 and you think 32 to 1 is too, too fat, uh, I've been running 44 to 1 for, oh my gosh. Well, 25 years, as a matter of fact. 25 years. I've been running 44 to 1. Right in there. Obviously, there's been some little dips and valleys over the years, but because I've been used mixed fuel from a camp or from somewhere else, my own fuel, I mix. There's nothing wrong with 50 to 1. But here's the deal, brother. You got to run your power saw sharp and you got to be off and on the trigger, not just hold it pinned shut. You got to let the, you got to keep the heat down is what I'm saying. And how you keep the heat down, the heat down is you, you file it and you keep it sharp. That's how you keep heat down. It's sharp. I don't know if a lot of people understand that or not. Nate, oh my goodness, Nate Bodie, holy smokes, Nate Bodie, better send her two hoodies in case one gets dirty, <laughs> Nate, you dog, Nate, thanks for the super chat support, bud, we appreciate you, thank you, I can't believe this, oh, Nate Bodie, Kevin Duff, Tin Man uses 45 to 1, there you go. Thank you for the answer, KMLP. Oh my gosh, thanks for the answer. You're welcome, buddy. Or Budette. Wood Nerd. Mark M. Rod's handles are excellent. Are excellent. Mark M. Rod's handles are excellent. That's good to know. Love from Idaho, brother. Kevin J. Dow, uh, Dawu. Dawu! <laughs> Davey, good to see ya. Thumbs up, please. Hey, Robin's asking for thumbs up. Don't don't mess with Robin, okay? <laughs> Friends, Bruce and Robin, don't mess with those folks. They ask for thumbs up, you got to give them thumbs up. It's plain and simple. It's just part of this, this whole channel. It's how it goes. So let's do that. Are, are we at least at, like we got 333 people watching. Are we at least at 300? I'm not going to look because it's on the phone back there. Please don't make me go look at the thumbs up, friends. If we're not at 300, we got problems at least. Come on, let's go. Now, okay, I might, I might have something here. 271. Oh, that's not good. I'm not moving another inch. I'm not even going to say another word until we hit 300. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. See all the room we got? Right? See all that room? Hey, who's that? Nice. Okay. Now, am I using this right now? Is this the right, look Look at this wedge. Look at that purple freaking heart. It's just glorious. I've been waiting for the right ax. This is not it. 
but it's close, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to use that one. I think I might use hickory, to be honest. Or maybe spotted gum. Oh, no, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to go with Jatoba. This is a Jatoba. Let's do Jatoba. I haven't used a Jatoba wedge in a long time. Oh, yeah. Shaklank. Oh, I might have to use a longer one. I have an itchy armpit. Christine, thank you, Mark. Hey, is that? Don't, that can't be who I think it is. It's Mark Gaines. Katie needs a t-shirt to go with her hoodie. Oh my goodness, Gainesies, we're dressing up Katie pretty hot today. Gainesies, you're unreal. Thank you for all your support, friends. Sincerely, thank you. Katie, you know what to do. That's a long wedge, that. Okay, what am I going to do here? Let me get... I'm going hickory. Yes, I am, right there. That's what I'm doing. I'm going hickory. Check it out. Boom. Shaklank. That's a long wedge. Yeah. Okay. I kind of don't want to use this hickory, but I'm, I'm actually going to. We got to go make a wedge, friends. So let's see. What do we got for battery? Okay, I know what we're going to do. Gotta get you guys plugged in with some jam here. We can't have you, we can't have you suffering, friends. There's no sense in suffering out here, right? We just can't do it. We can't suffer. Okay, there's the power again. The power with the power invested in me. All right, let's do this. I still think I'm gonna go with the hickory. This axe is nuts. Just nuts. Oh, interesting crack, heat crack. I'm okay with it. Okay, let's look at this. Boom. Let's see how much that works. Oh yeah, oh yeah.
Okay, so do you know what I just did, friends? Look at this. Look at. My kerf is way down. I cut my kerf a little longer. I'm not worried about it, but look at that. Look at this. Okay. I'm going to try. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm going to see if I can sink a whole pile of this in there. Let's go back in the, in the shop. You know what? I could keep you guys plugged in the, uh, the extension cord without a, without a problem. Let's do that. Let's just freaking do it. That's how we're going to live today. Nick Pixel is a good dude. He's an incredible dude. I can't believe these super chats. You, you people, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't want to harp on about it, but I'm telling you, 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 you allow me to do so much more than I ever thought I could do. It's, don't start me on the recipient program. That last fella, Kevin, that, that filmed the trees for us? Yeah. Yeah. There, we got to the end of the job and he's like, okay, so what are we, you know, it's the damage. I said, do what? <laughs> he gave me three cabbages. He came up here the other day. As a matter of fact, just a minute. Thomas Evans. Love him. Hang on. Just hang on. I want to. I want to see something. Are we getting rain? Maybe. So hang on. I don't know if I've got it. I. I may. I may not. I had to get rid of a bunch of stuff on my phone, so I. I may. Wait a second. I'll see if I can find it. He came up the other day. He gave me three red cabbages that his dad grew. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Jay Daniels. Okami shipping. Oh, whoa. What's been going on? Jay Daniels. Look at Jay, friends. Bark and spider, I miss bear claw. I miss bear claw. Age and knowledge of that man has me transfixed. Yeah, he uh, he was a big a big part of my world there for a few years. He's still one of my good good friends. Probably one of my better friends. Free vegetables. Yeah, Cameron, that's what it was. He got his trees down and I got cabbage. But actually, you know what he did? You know what he did? I told well, it was on the video. I says if you I'm not collecting, but if you want to support the uh, the homeless little thing that's called roughing it in Nanaimo. He did. He did. Now that's winning. That's winning. We like and love you, Bucking. CH Trees. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Tom Joyner. Good to see you. Tom Joyner. Matt Man. I enjoy cabbage. How's the axe business, Tom? Mr. Joyner, how's the axe business going? Ish. Red cabbage, I was trying to work out what sort of money denomination that was. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, no money. That one. It's, it's this one. You can't buy that, ish. Respect from the woods, UK. Love it. Thanks, Christine Okami. This Okami, I'm liking this Okami fella here. Okami. John McCormick, cabbage, got corned beef. Todd Hansen, hey Buck, and love your brother. Michael, the old timer. If I just sat here, I would never get no work done. We're slamming this wedge now. We're doing it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm not even going to look anymore. I'm hoping this is big enough. I think it is. Trying to get tricky, see that? Glue is a good thing. It helps the wedge slip and it helps it stick at the same time. 
Let's see how we do, friends. Let's see how we do. I like the old live feeds. This is fun. So fun. Not Jay Daniels, man. You got to watch that fella. Okay, let's look. Where's the biggest? Okay, right here. Okay, friends, now listen. That is a lot of wedge to sink. You'll notice I actually, sh I, I, I thinned it out in the middle, okay? That is a lot of wedge to fit. I don't know if it'll all go. If I get three quarters, I'll be happy. I, I just, I don't know. Scotty Price, look at Scotty. Have a great week, Buck, and enjoyed my first live chat. Hope to see you on the next one. Scott Price, hey, buddy, thank you so much for your support. What a guy. Scott, Scott Price, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. It's time to make my first axe. From a handle that came off the lathe. Let's do it. Here we go. It's all she's going to take, and it's all she's going to need. Friends, do you know when you're using a, a little uh, hacksaw, you can actually manipulate the blade with your other hand? You know what I mean? Sometimes they run down. Just twist it with your hand. Like that. You can twist it any way you want. So friends, I like to try and get all, I, I try to like to get to the bottom of my kerf. I went too far on the kerf, I got excited. Doesn't matter, but it's just, you know it's in there, right? Most importantly, check this out. Right? This is crazy, friends. So, here, hang on.
Well, I'll be darned. Oh. <laughs> Wonder if we shan't go swing it. You don't want to put too much because you've got glue in there, right? You, you don't want a whole pile of vodka in there. Just enough to get that going. That's it. It's over. See? Just a little bit. Because you got that glue. This is starting to come together. You gotta watch, you'll you'll stain it. You gotta watch because if you uh do you know what I mean friends? If you if you let it sit there on it'll it'll go too dark, right? You gotta be careful. This is coming up really nice. There it is. It's good for now. Oh my goodness graciousness. <sighs> How's BR today, William White? I'm very good. So, there are my two axes right there. My two first axes. My wedge banger, friends, and my, my all-around wood-splitting beast of a tool. There they both sit, right there. That's it. Look at this. There they are. That, that head is just a random head, but I'm talking about the handles, friends. Randy B, how you doing, bud? Derbs, not bad, eh, buddy? I wish I had some wood to split for you, but I don't. But I don't.
That'll do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Now, the fun has only begun. Let's take this outside because we got to do something here. We we got to we got to share something else with you, your friends and folk. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh huh. Yeah. I gotta get a bar. So I think this is 50 gauge, but this is not. Check this out, friends. That's the Walker Saw Shop bar.
So the walkers have new bars and new chains, right? Now, I don't know, this might be a problem. So I think this is, he wanted me to try this, friends. Donnie wanted me to try this. This is new, this is walkers, walkers chain right here. And it's 050 gauge, I think. Yeah, it is. It's skinny. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's skinny. But it's very interesting because it's got kind of an interesting grind on it. Look at this, friends. Look at Walker Saw Shop. Pretty cool, eh? Look at the freaking super chatters. You guys are crazy. That is amazing help. Thank you all. So this. So what will happen is we may have a hard time getting this on. Or maybe we won't. No, nope, good. Okay, good. Unless, let's see. Because I got the... Uh, Let's see. No, I already fixed this one. Good. Interesting. Okay. I see. Okay, I got to grind this bar a little bit right here. Should be good now. There it goes, just like that. Boom! Boom! course I see so you know you know what's happening friends is the hole for the husky you got to grind those holes out a little bit you can see one's done and the other one's not because I was in a hurry so now I gotta go like this and now it'll work Whoa. Aha, that's funny. So uh, this is the hot rod saw from from uh, the one that beat the 66. It had a, uh, a full house. I think it had, I forget what it had on it. But it beat the 66 nonetheless. There was a guy on Instagram. I, I couldn't even believe he was. 
I can't even believe it was an issue. He was, I don't know, he was trying to blame Still for something. I, I, it blew me away. He said it was, it was an aftermarket side cover, and he said it was pinching his chain, and he was dealing with the problem for like a long time. He thought it was his saw. Well, it, when you put a new chain on a saw, friends, just go like this. That's all you got to do, and he would have... I, I just don't understand what he was talking about there, but anyway, whatever. Not for me to. So I got the new bar, the new the new Husky bar, but it's 063. Yeah, it's 063. So walkers want me to test this chain out. So I'm going to do so. Look at this. That's Nick Pixel for you. Get a little cooler, friends. Not man, good to see you. Jamie Barkin Spider, Justin Weaver for the super chat. Thanks for the super chat, Oak Army. Todd Duncan, thanks, Jamie. Whoa, Jamie, is that Jamie Pro John Fort. Living is given. Oh, that's a good one. I like that, buddy. Give what I can when I can. John Fort, thank you for your super chat, brother. Wow. Is this Scott Price we got? Thank you to our super chatters, friends. This is helping so much right now. Thank you. I got another trip planned. So all this helps us a ton. Thank you. Crazy. Best stuff on YouTube, Pacific Loon. So cool. Thanks, buddy. My old timer. See you, Michael. Hey, Skinny. Patrick Frook says, hey, Skinny. Curly Thompson yesterday uh, showed me how to take my rev limiter off my saw. Cool. When you come into Oregon, probably sooner than later, buddy. Oregon's not that far. Antonio Morgado, best channel ever. John Morse, Johnny, good to see you. See old timer, Joe Reynas. Joe Reynas, you son of a gun, you. Gosh. I'm from Oregon, Bruce Simpson says. Hey, Bruce. How you doing today? Good, Dale. Good to see you, Dale. Nice. Okay. Put some more bar oil in this old girl. I wouldn't mind testing something down the bank here. I mean, I do have something I can cut with. Friends, this saw has been bone dry for like a long time from the trip and everything. Like dry, dry. I don't even think, well, there won't be anything in the carburetor. This is a beautiful freaking power saw, this one. Beautiful. Um... What am I doing? Probably earmuffs. Maybe I got some in the truck. <laughs> yeah, I do.
Look at the compression on this saw, friends. See, that bars. that last cut I had to make it straight for the wife's chopping block the chop we're actually gonna get another chopping block for over there and bring that one over here and I'm having a burn the next time next time we get a bunch of rain I got some burning to do so I don't know 
I, I'm not that impressed with the chain really. I mean, it's okay. It's no ground chain. Uh, mind you, it's skip tooth, that's why. I'm used to full house. So actually, now that I say that, it actually cuts pretty good. <laughs> I'm just I'm just picky because I'm probably screaming at you. It actually cut nice. There's the chip there. It actually cuts pretty good. I shouldn't be so harsh. But actually, look what I was cutting through, by the way. Look at this stuff. Look at that. So that actually makes sense. Look at this. That's gnarly. So that, that actually does make sense. It actually cut pretty good. I'm just picky. And it's brand new. So yeah, this is the thing about, here. here's the thing. I, I want you guys to listen to me for a second here. Ramble on. I better, I better plug you in because we don't want to lose you. I want to share something with you. And I want you to think about this. Think about this for a second. You get a new chain. Okay. You, so you go and you, you, actually let's go inside friends. Let's go inside. You get a new chain and you get it out of the box and you, you, you cut with it, right? Where you go, you start cutting. Well, you're, you're gonna file it at some point, aren't you? Yeah, you are, you're gonna file it. So I, I guess to me, the characteristics of, of a chain I think are going to be a little more important when you're thinking about it as far as how it affects your files. What's it like on your files? Uh, not necessarily an edge, because if I'm not mistaken, uh, I don't know what you do, but once I get a chain, I file it. So everything changes, no matter what the chain is. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're going to file it. So it's only stock once. So that, that chain actually cut pretty good, to be honest. I shouldn't knock it. Um, I think he's got, yeah, it's skip tooth. And that was actually, I thought it was full. It's not, it's skip. So, but I don't like the way new chain cuts. You guys know that. Is that not true? Is it? Is that not what happens? Or, oh, I left my thing outside, friends. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, do you guys know what I mean by that? Like once you get a chain, whether it's still or organ or whatever, sooner or later, you're gonna have to put your hands on it to file it. So your filing, your filing is gonna be what's important. Yeah, well, there, there you go, Joshua, there, there you go, I mean, I, I, I prefer, it's all about the burr for me, how I can get that burr gone. Uh, still, I don't particularly like still chain anymore. I used to run it a lot because it used to really grind a mean chain. You know what I mean, friends? It did, it ground a mean chain. <laughs> like really mean. But then Oregon came out with the EXL and I just freaking loved it. Out of the box, it was smooth and fast, uh, right? It's about how it can hold a corner. So, so that's more about what it, what it is, is, uh, is about for me. It's not necessarily what it's like out of the box. Like I'll know more about Donnie's chain when I file it, friends. Does that make sense to you? 
Like right now, it's very adequate. It cuts like most uh, out-of-the-box chain do. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'll know more when I put a file on it and start getting into it. That's when I'll know. Uh, I could go file it right now, but we're not going to do that. Whoa, look at this character. Oh my gosh. Todd Duncan with a super chat. Whoa! Did these super chats just come in? The super chatters are going, Aaron Olson, have, having a hard day, day today. Had to say goodbye to my brother-in-law for the final time. Need some peace in my soul. Thank you, Buck and Aaron Olson. That's never easy, Aaron. Yeah, that stuff's never easy. Hopefully that fire's gonna go. Well, you're in the right spot. Man. You're in the right spot with your friends here, bud. Sometimes they need a little jump start, a little hug. You know, the fireplace need a little hug. Just like Aaron needs a little hug here. Let's give Aaron a hug. But you need a hug, Aaron? I'll give you a freaking hug. You're darn tootin', I'll give you a hug. Come here, Aaron. Come here, buddy. There you go, buddy. There, how's that? Does that feel better? Did you feel that, Aaron? Did you feel that? I'll give you a hug, buddy. I know what it's like. I know what it's like. Hugs are wonderful. I love hugs. Hugs are wonderful. They just feel so good, especially when they're a meaningful hug. You know what I mean? There's a tap, tap, and then there's a squeeze, right? Yeah, well, I just gave you a squeeze, Aaron. It's colder, rated 78. I don't know. I don't know about the, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's getting cold. I don't, I don't follow temperatures. <laughs> I just don't. Love wins, Herb Ortis. What's the temp bucket? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's it's not it's nowhere near zero. It's not it's not freezing, but there was frost this morning. There was a little bit of frost over there, so I don't know. I mean, I I guess I could tell you. Hey Siri, what is the temperature in Nanaimo, British Columbia? It's 12 degrees. There you go. 12 degrees. I like that series. She's good. Dave Slinger. So they are stock when you buy them. What does uh what what are you what are you asking, Dave? Dave Slinger, what are you asking? You said so they're stock when you buy them? What does that mean, buddy? What are you pertaining to? Aaron, thank you again for your super chat. Todd Duncan, you're a good man. We appreciate you. And thank you all so much for your support. It really helps. It does. It helps like crazy. So thank you. What's your favorite axe? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'd have to say it depends because that, that's a tough question because... Axes aren't just, they don't serve just one purpose. You know what I mean, buddy? Like, like a vehicle, you know, I, I could say my favorite vehicle is a truck because it, it does one thing. It gets me around and, and kind of keeps me working and I can, but an ax, am I chopping? Am I splitting? It's, it's tough to put down. Uh, but, but I would have to say the wood bullet is right up there, brother. I, I'm, not, I'm not just saying that. The wood bullet is freaking crazy. I'm telling you. I'm, 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 I'm just waiting for someone to... We got a couple people trying, but I, I, I don't know. I, here, just a second. I'll show you my favorite axe. You want to see my favorite axe? I'll show it to you. Wherever it is. Maybe I lost it now. Who knows where it is. Yeah, I don't even know where it's at. Maybe it's over here. No, it's not. It's not there neither. Maybe I did lose it. No, it's got to be here somewhere. Huh. 
Is this it? No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I don't even know where it is. I don't know. But now I'm nervous because I don't know. So I'm just going to stand here with, and see if I can find it, which I don't think I can. That's actually kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's gone. Maybe I lost it. Huh. Maybe it's, maybe it's down at uh, maybe it's down at the last place I used it. What's this? I mean, this is this is kind of one of them. This is this is not the original one. I actually don't know where my my actual original wood bullet is. To be honest with you, I don't see it here. That could be scary, but something like that. Oh, this. <laughs> Friends, this is it. It's in my hands, but I changed the handle, remember? <laughs> this is my favorite axe, right here. And you want to know why? That is funny. This is it. This is my favorite axe. Right here, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you right now. This thing. Right there. That's my favorite axe. That's it. You know why? You know why I couldn't find it? This is why, right here. Because there's the old handle. Now here's something, here's something kind of cool. I salvaged this handle out, friends. I did. Hang on, Just a sec. goes my bandsaw blade so check this out so I, I actually salvaged this handle friends this is the original original bucking special handle right here but I changed it for a Jonesy Jonesy sent me one and friends I, I'm just I got a video coming up another wood splitting video and I'm gonna put it up it's about a half an hour and you I'm telling you I'm telling you friends Look at, let's talk about this a minute. Like, friends, look at the super chatter. I can't. Bruce Manley, it's all it's about 11 degrees. Cool. Okay, you got you got Sim Fam Man right here. Sim Fam. A $15 super chat. Hi Buck and Clayton and Joe from Hey Clayton and Joe, good to see ya. We're your biggest fans. I saw your email. My wife, Joe, emailed yesterday. Yes, I read you guys. What a beautiful email. My gosh. Oh, seriously, thank you guys. Joe. Joe and Clayton. What a, what a nice message you left me. Friends, I got some freaking heartfelt messages today. Joe and Clayton from New Zealand. Um, my buddy, Thomas. Evans, a couple others, like heartfelt, like, oh, it, it honestly, friends, the, all this stuff means nothing compared to you people, and and you know what I mean. I'm telling you, it, it's, I, 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 I kind of lose my words because I, I don't want to sound like a, a weirdo, but this is what's important to me right here. You people, let me in your freaking houses. And watching me and supporting me and that's what keeps me going is to know that what's coming out of my yapper or or stuff I'm showing you is helping your life that's all that matters to me I could care about any of the rest of it it's this right here tin man sauce right there my buddy tin man super chats 20 bucks tin man Joe 
I felt the love in your freaking email, Joe and Clayton. I did. I'm telling you. I'm a man of the vibration. You guys know that. I felt the love in your email. I, I was so happy to read it today. I read it this morning. I even told my wife, I said, honey, we got some nice messages for, from, for some people. Thank you. I know I sound like a broken record on the thank you thing, but friends, I, I feel like I've, I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. I, I just feel like I've kind of, I'm growing on YouTube. We're reaching more people. We're reaching more people with a good message, friends. I'm pretty excited. And you people are helping me. Know that to be true. There's no other way to look at it. Without you guys, I'm nothing. Think about it. Think about it. It's because of you. So, that's why I ramble on. Joe and Clayton, I love it. Tin Man, thank you, buddy. This is crazy. Look at this. John Fort, living is given. Johnny, you got that right, brother. You got it right. Do you know how good it feels? Hey, listen. Christine, other than you, because you've been here for a long, long time, the only other, maybe the wood nerd, who remembers me saying? Who remembers? Just don't, don't fib. I don't, I don't want the fibs. The fibs aren't going to help me. I want the truth. Does anybody remember back in the day? I said it several times, but does anybody remember like seven years ago, me looking into the camera and saying, friends, YouTube is going to help me do tree work for people. It's for free. It's going to help me help people. Who freaking remembers that? Give me a heck yeah if you do. If I don't see any heck yeahs, it means that you didn't see it. No big deal. But I know there's somebody out there that remembers it. I know it for a fact. Because I said it all the time. And it's happening, friends. <laughs> it's happening. I love it. Jason Turney, you've been here. You remember. I know you do. Nate Bodie, yeah. Christine, yeah. Darren. You're a vessel bucking. Keep on. Yeah, I, I'm not. I, I, I'm telling you, I get, I get ramped. I get ramped, especially when I know that I'm helping people. It's, look at my shoulders. I mean, look at me. I'm like a freaking rooster. When I start doing this, that means there's a problem. <laughs> right? I'm just like, don't, don't even get it. Don't, don't. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. You people fire me right up. You do. Joey Gordon, I would love to have one of your axes. Well, Joey, we're working on it, brother. It's coming. I got the handle, so I wasn't finished. I wasn't finished talking about this. Look at this, friends. I'm not joking you. Look at Original handle. Whiskey River with some tweaks, remember? Remember I phoned him and asked him if it was okay? That's called YouTube etiquette, okay? If you're planning on borrowing something from somebody or, or received inspiration from someone and you decide to take some of that inspiration and maybe copy something or use it, just freaking give the dude a shout out. It's called YouTube etiquette. Okay. Look at this. Look. Can you guys see this? Look at the difference here. For one thing, we're taller. We're a little bit longer. I always wondered what this thing would be like on a boat. 36 is too long. I don't want 36. I know what would happen with 36. There's a thing with axes called the axis. But when you say axis, you got to get your, your teeth have to stick to the top of your gums. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like above your, and you have to say axis because it's the only way it, it works properly. You can't say it without it. I told you that, didn't I? Good. Now. What I'm saying is balance, okay? So this handle here is curved at the bottom. It comes down and it's, its curve is at the bottom. You see that? Right there. It's beautiful. It's lovely. This one, different story. Different story. One more time. Just kidding. Look it. This thing 
Friends, Jonesy sent it. I had to tweak it a bit. I always tweak stuff when it comes to me to make it happen. Friends, who knows what I call this right here? This. This. Who knows the word? Come on. Come on. You guys know it. It's a made-up word. Buckins made-up word. Oh, my goodness. This thing's beautiful. Come on. Let's see it. Who knows the word? Whoa. Joey Gordon. Yeah. Right on, brother. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Mr. Gordon with a super chat. Octagonal. No, that's not the word, but it's close. Come on. Somebody's got to remember. What do I call that in the handle where it's... What's this? Well, for starters, what is this? What is it? It's not round. I'm waiting for it. Nobody knows it. I'm going to have to bust it out. I was hoping somebody would remember it. This is this is oblong as well. But it's not as oblong as this. And thinner. Look. Your strength is in your oblongity. That's the word. Oblongity. I love it. Ovalish. <laughs> Avoiding the future. Good try, buddy. <laughs> I love it. Nice effort. Oblong entity. Dog leg, Corey. That's exactly what that is. Dog leg. And I'm telling you something, brother. One hand right on the palm swell, right? Like, that's where I live. I don't live here. That, that, I don't, this isn't me. It's not. It's not me. Because this finger, right? This is me here. It's just what I do. I go like that. Right like that. And then this one's on top. And now you got problems. The wood's got problems now. But anyways, this is what I'm saying. Look. Both hands fit in that curve right there. Before. It's just... This is a problem. Look at how excited I am. <laughs> so I'm sending this one to the freaking uh, copy lathe as well. And we're going to call it the Jonesy. Yeah, we are. We're going to call it the Jonesy. In lieu of the man that made it. YouTube etiquette, like I just spoke about, right? Give the man kudos. Huh? This is what I'm talking about. Give. Give. Ish. Another insporadically. That's a pretty big word for a farmer and a miller and a woodman. That's the octagon. Nope, that's not the octagon. The octagon is, is different. I got the octagon up here. Octagonal. Octagonal is different. I'll show you what octagonal is. You guys know what octagonal is. I know you guys know what it is. I got one somewhere. Softagon, right there. There it is right there. I call it the softagon. Remember that one, friends? Softagon. Yeah. But I do have an octagonal handle, octagonal, right there. Oblong entity is different. Oh, there's another octagonal right there. Oh, that's different. Oh, that's Killinger's handle. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's that? Oh. Avoiding. Got your stove fan working. Yes, I did, brother. Somebody sent me a new one. Was that you? I forget who done that. That fire's roasting right now. Sure is good talking to you, folks. Tin Man Saws. What a character. I want to try something.
in there, I might have to take it out and uh, and maybe blow it out. There's a little bit. It sits in here in these covers, but I think still dust kind of gets in there. Right there. Right there. See? It's gone. Yeah, I got it. Good. Joey Gordon. Super Chat and Gordy. <laughs> hey! Full house bucking. Full house bucking. I have slower started. Slowly started and I owe it all to that man. He gave me the fire I needed. Full house bucking. Cool. Lane Herringer, love ya bud. Got an eager beaver McCullough, cool. How did his biggest tree climb go? You talking about Hogan? Avoiding the future? You are your problem. Yes, indeed I am. Yes, indeed I am. Matthew Brummett says, how's it going? Buck and Billy Ray says, it's going real good, Matthew. How are you, buddy? Huh? How are you, Matthew? Buck and you need a wood bullet tune and a wedge banger tune. I got to get me and my McCullough finished first, buddy, Terry. <laughs> Boxcar Jimmy, you're the greatest, man. Boxcar. We used to know a guy named Boxcar. What did we call him? Boxcar Al. Well, and you know why. Yeah. I'm doing good, says Matthew. Bucking, I spread your message of kindness. Jason, I appreciate that. Jason, I remember your name from years ago. Hello, Buckin. Jeffrey Jeffries. Good to see you. Tyler Moss. Hey, Buckin. Afternoon, all. Kyle Ree. Tristan Caldwell. Hey, Buckin. Nice shop. Thanks. Jimmy Deadly. Jimmy Deedy. Father of four daughters. Me and my son's youngest. Watch your videos. Thank you, Jimmy Deedy. Matthew. It was good, buddy. Real good in Ohio. Yeah, it was awesome. Patrick Furk, how's Hogan doing? He's good, Patrick. Nice to see you, buddy. How are you feeling? Patrick, he's doing good. He's doing real good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ethical says, do you miss the hardwood for us? Actually, no. <laughs> no, I, I long for my pitch, to be honest with you. Uh, but I, I do look forward to going back. But I, our forests are, are, are quite a bit different. They're, 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 uh, they're just different. 
Yeah. Like, like juicy. If, you know what I mean? Resiny and juicy and pitchy and it's just different. The hardwood forests are bland. If that, if that, I, I, I can't really find the word. It, 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 it's hardwood, right? It's, it's hardwood. So it's not as, it's just a different feel. It's, it's beautiful in its own way. Absolutely. I'm not knocking it by any means, but there, there's something about the, 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 the pitch. It, it, you know what I mean? The sap running through your veins. It's different. But uh, I can't wait to come back, brother. I want to learn all about it. I'll be back. Uh, whether I make a trip before Christmas, I don't know. I Probably not. Probably not. Jimmy, what do you mean? You bought, what, what, what single bit, double bit, what? David, that was an A harp. West Coast trees smell better. Yeah, they do. They have, That's what it is. It's kind of pungent. It has a pungent, resiny type thing, whereas the, the hardwoods, even here, are bland. There's no real smell, unless they smell like poo when you cut them, which does happen, too. The maple can smell like poo-poo. Eric, good to see you. Patrick Frook. Joshua. Hardwood forest sure are hang uppy. Yep. Yep. So so are ours when you get into the into the into the hardwoods, into the arbutus trees. They they can be a real when you get the big tall timber and then you get all these arbutus growing on a 45, like out at Brian's. My buddy Brian's, I've showed you that forest before. It's it's different fallen. It's way different fallen. It's not, you're not just walking through a forest with straight timber. You're walking through this and you got to fall it. So it's, it's a different, different thing. That's why the hardwood forest falling is, it's no big deal to me. We've done it. You know, we've done it here. It's just, it's much different fiber is what it is. So I want to learn about the fiber down there and what we can get away with. That freaking hickory is tough. I'll tell you that right now. Mac Zook, a $2.79 uh, super chat. Mac, thank you, buddy. He says, love the show, Buck, and thank you. I appreciate you. BFP, Philadelphia Phillies. Mac, Mac, thanks for thanking everybody, everybody. I appreciate when you guys thank the super chatters. I really do. Johnny McCormick, never heard of Arbutus until I started watching here. Well, Johnny, what it is, is it's the, it's the, um, Madrone is what it's known as, Madrone, but we've always called it Arbutus here. It's never been Madrone. It's just, I grew up, I mean, I've been here 50, almost 54 years. It's been Arbutus, that's the word for it. Thomas, I want to come to your place. Your your place sounds amazing. Would you would you let me come up there? I want to come. I want to come up there. Tin Man, I'm just in a great mood. You dirty dog, Tin Man on a super chat. Tin Man, thank you, buddy. What a guy. Bill Block, coffee, coffee, coffee. Bill Block sends his love from Australia. With a $10 super chat. Thank you, Billy boy. Billy from Australia. Billy Block. Billy Block from Australia, friends. Billy Block from down under. His name's Billy Block, we call him. Blockhead. Stumpy little, you know what. Yes, I did get the book. Avoiding the Future. Was that about the back? Is that what that was, about the back pain? Was that the right one? I just got it there a couple days back, if that's the right one. <clears throat> Darren Davis with a $20 super chat. Darren Davis, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. 
We, we appreciate all the Super Chatters big time. Trevor, you're the best. Trevor, Friedenberg, Friedenberg, Frein, Freinberg, 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 Feinberg, Feinberg. Trevor, Trevor! Thank you, Trevor. Avoiding the future. Yep. Yeah, that's the one. I did get it. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Darren. Dustin Ridge. Can't wait to see you at the next Bunyan. Dustin, I'm looking forward. I think we're going to we're gonna ramp it up next year, like big time. Like super big time. We're going to ramp it up. Let's kick this out of here like a baseball. Or no, a soccer ball. Did you guys see me fire up that 125 there the other day? I don't want to smoke show this. Saws right there. Did you see that thing fire up? I'll bet you did. I'll bet you did see that fire up. Oh, I'll bet you freaking did. Watch out. Compression will blow the windows out. Yeah, it does, Marty. That soft freaking dust flies everywhere. <laughs> I love that thing. Whoa, what's going on? Carl from Caddyshack. Joe Reynes, real man saw, Randy Wolf. Why, yes it is. And most of those men that packed around those saws were about five foot seven. And I'm telling you right now, well, there's a man on the wall right there who's probably the best faller on the coast right there, old Bear Claw. He packed those 125 around. You guys have seen the claw. He's about this tall. His, his mittens are here. He's a strong dude. You, it's got nothing to do with weight. That man was strong. Absolutely. But it's technique. It's technique. The 125, there was nothing like it. Nothing. That saw's nuts. Stop. Maybe we should stroke this power saw, friends. What do you guys think? Maybe we should stroke this... Uh, this power saw and see what it files like. What do you guys think? Give it a little scrub. Hey, he also gave me, he also gave me, hey, what? I thought he gave me a pre-ground chain. Oh, it's on the Echo. Oh, we got an Echo to try, friends. We got an Echo. A big Echo. Yeah. We should, uh, we should see what this, uh, this thing files like. Tia, is that Tia? Tia Maria? There's Tia. Hey, Tia, long time no see, Tia. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. J 
Jay Daniels, Tia in the house, Bruce, scrub a dub, scrub a dub. Tia, good to see everyone. Tia, nice to see you, darling. These freaking super chatters. This is crazy. This <laughs> just blows my mind. Julio McDermott. Good to see you, Julio. Justin, nice to see you. Lalugski. Lalugski. Okay. I want to check something out. Oh, I, I, it feels good. Instantly feels good. Here, let's get, there we go. Well, you guys can't see me. Here. You know what we should do? Yeah, we should. Let's do that. Let's go like this. I'm going to, I'm going to swap you guys out. Let's go like this. Check this out. I'm going to put you, because I got, I've actually set this thing up so that we can do this, right? I did it just for the bunker and live feeds and videos. So what I do is I put you guys over here like this, right? Like this, right? And then I go like this, right? Of course I do. See my little stump vise right there? So I put the stump vise there. That's what I do. Yes, indeed, I do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I do, mm-hmm. Then what I do is I come over here like this and I plug this in so you guys don't go croaking. Yes, I do. Indeed, I do. Sure, I do. Mm-hmm. See? Bang. You just got lit up. Then what I do is I come over here like this. As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Indeed, I freaking do. And then I go like this. See that? Talk to me about that. Could you imagine life like this? Oh, that's no fun. But what about this life? Life with light. There, we have light. Yes, we do. We got light. Hey, Buckin, do you think a Mac 10 is too big for our friend Wooly? I'm not sure what that means. Um, I don't. I don't know what that means. Um, just a minute. The small wood lot. Oh, Dave Thomas, thank you for the super chat, buddy. I didn't even see that. Tia, you gave a super chat too, you crazy gal. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what you mean, buddy, uh, about Wooly and the 1010. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I understand. Zach Johnson, I have no need for it. I, I wouldn't use it. I, I don't, I'm not cutting rocks. So I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't use carbide stuff. Yeah, I, it, I mean, conditions would have to be pretty bad, buddy, for, actually, I don't know anyone that runs carbide, carbide teeth. No one. Not out here. It, it but again, you know, fallers aren't going to do that. Tree workers aren't going to use it. Not that I know of, buddy. So I, I can't speak to it. So I got my vice here. And as you can see, my desk is in wonderful condition. Not. But I don't throw anything away because I'm always reaching for something or other, like sandpaper or whatever. Wedges. All this, all that. There's my favorite hammer. There's my Jatoba. So let's let's file this a couple teeth here. Let's have a peeksy poo. Let's have a little peeksy poponza. Pixie rolling nonanza, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know you do. Oh, look at that, a freaking file. Maybe we should go square filing. Square filing, let's go square filing. I wonder if we should. No, we shouldn't. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, that's long. Wow. Let's put this in here. Shake link. But the only thing about that is, is you gotta have it set right on the Monet or it pops out of the wood and you got to smash it again. But it works. It's fine. Jeez, I wonder. Oh, he's square filing. Ooh, look at that. Oh, ooh. Wow. Wow. I should just start square filing. I enjoy it, actually. 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll square file that. Shall we? Let's do it. Let's go square file right now. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? For the next acts, you give a young person that needs some adult encouragement. Jeff Cannell. Oh my gosh. Jeff, look at you smiling with a big mustache and your kid beside you. Jeff Cannell. Cannell. Jeff, dude, you're a man after my own heart. Thank you so much, buddy. Look at what Jeff did, friends, and what he said. You can consider that done, pal. Consider it done. Wow. Friends, let's thank Jeff. Jeff, thank you, buddy. Ooh. Oh, this is quite lovely. Oh. See, this is how I, I square file like this. Yes, indeed I do. Look at this. Oh. See, I got to be honest. Oh, my. <laughs> I like square filing, bros, bros and brodettes. I do. But I don't like this vice like this. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to get violent with it. I wonder if I shan't start a new one, maybe. Right, friends? Like, maybe start a new... This is oak, eh? It's oak. Jeff, thank you so much, buddy. Wow. You know what I could do? Actually, I got an idea. Hang on. That's, that's going to be better. I can guarantee you that right there, right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is working out pretty freaking good. I don't expect everybody to stick around. I, don't get me wrong. I, I, you know, I don't expect you to hang out. But you know what would be good, to be quite frankly? Now, oh, as a matter of fact, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot about this thing. Uh-oh, oh. Check that sucker out. Now, hang on a sec. If I'm not mistaken, yes, indeed, it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this, friends. Freaking look at this. Are, are you guys with me? This is interesting. Okay. So, this is what I do, friends. Right?
This is how I square grind or square file like that. And it comes up pretty scary actually. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. And it's quite nice. It, it, it might be, huh? So this is how I do it. And you know what, friends? Want to know something else? I've done it both ways. I've gone like that, and then I've come over here and gone like this. I've done it both ways, like on, on the same chain. file this and then go out and cut with it again Friends, this is, this is kind of no joke. It's no joke. I can see the corner beautifully. All right. Jeff, you crazy dog, you. Thank you, buddy. Look at this. It's skipped tooth, friend, so it won't take that bad. Cool. It's great to see everybody today. No oh, man, these live feeds get fun. Just find your line, friends. Find your line. I, I do it this way. And I have not found any difference from this way to the other way. You want to see something scary? I'll show you. You may see it, you may not. But I'm going to show you anyway. Let's see if we can get you guys in here. It may not work. Oh yeah, it does. You guys can see that. Can you see that, friends? What happens if we go like this? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very interesting. This it's cutting. It's definitely cutting. How's everybody making out? Everybody doing okay or what? We're dropping off like flies. It's good. Nobody's into the filing. What do you think, friends? Here we are. Coming to the end.
Interesting. Last tooth. Wow. I gotta be honest, uh, so what I could do now, friends, is because it's so much easier, is just go like this. That feels weird, though. So, let's take a peek. Let's go in there. Yeah. Of course. There it is. Square. This is actually an interesting grind. Good. Good. Very good. So this tooth has an interesting grind on it out of the factory. Yeah, see how it's doing that? That's actually very interesting to me. See, you see how that's doing that, friends? That that doesn't do that to me on other chains. Till you get a groove. Yeah. I wonder if this will be better.
Yes, I believe it will. Yes, indeed it will. So, I like this better. Just what I like. Yep. Oh yeah, baby. You'll hear guys that have been filing a long time, you'll hear them kind of just tickle that file back. It allows them to stay in the groove. That's what they're doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm good at it that hand. Getting pretty quiet, eh, friends? Got to concentrate when you're filing. There we go. Yeah, I don't know, it's hard to say on this chain. The diehards are sticking around. I love it.
We got to be getting close. I feel it. There's one right there. There's one right there. Last two. Feel it. We go. Good enough for me. This will be very interesting. I mean, very interesting. Okay, so I talk about this stuff all the time, friends. We haven't done any rakers. We've, do, we've done nothing with the rakers, okay? All we did was square file the chain. That's all we did is square file the chain. So if you want to find out how you're, I don't know, you guys didn't see, but I did, and I know what it felt like. The chain size? It's three eighths, buddy. Jay Daniels, can we see the chain? It's it's three eighths. It's Walker's chain. It's three eighths. O five O. Is that okay, Jay? Or I I can get the box for you if you like. But it's three eighths O five O. But I can get the box for you if you like. No problem. This is the 86 cc power saw. I just want to put it in that teeny bit of wood to see how it grabs first, and then we'll take another zap off of that uh, thing. Yeah, it's 050. But uh, it's that's all they had in this chain, I believe. Anyway, let, let let's check something else. So, so friends, this is what we're dealing with. If you know what square chain is, you'll understand what that is right there. By hand. That's wicked, actually. It's wicked. I'm getting better at it, friends. Ah! Uh -huh. 
So go back, go back to the other cuts, watch me cut, watch me cut, time it and time that. Ground chain turns a stock chain. You don't hit your rakers. I, I never hit my rakers if I'm gonna take a stock chain out of the box and grind it. I don't touch the rakers. I leave them on full house. I'm talking full house. This thing's cutting. It's cutting. Seriously, friends. Like I'm not going to cut that chopping block any smaller. That's because that's perfect for my wife or for the other one. But I think there might be something down here we can get into. It's getting pretty sparse though. And it's not really hardwood anymore. This thing's coming. It, it, you can just feel it, but I don't think yeah, I'll just put you guys here. But I, I don't really think we can kind of get you. Well, maybe it will be something there. Let's close up a bit. Maybe I'll, I'll come in right there. See that right there? I'll grab that piece right there.
hard maple, dry rock hard maple. So what you'll notice, this would be a really nice fallen, uh, a fallen chain because it will not bog the saw out. But as soon as you touch the rakers on a ground chain, right? You can hear it, you can see it, it's terrible. And I'll run to the pickup and swap out for a stock chain before I'll keep cutting with that. You gotta pull your dogs out of the saw, lean back and start working hard. It's no fun. So it's all about energy when you got six and a half hours to play around on the hill to get wood down. You don't wanna be fighting a hungry chain. It's terrible, terrible. You guys just probably saw a close up of my face. That is nice. Very nice. I'm getting good at that by hand, friends. I am. I'm really liking my square violin. Oh, yeah. Lots of oil coming. Not a bad chain. Very, very interesting. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Hey, now, so let's have a look here. See if we got any jam left for you guys, gals. I think I'm gonna probably end it because that was just fun. Shaklank, right? Yeah, it was. It was good times. Very good times. Listen, friends, uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you all so much. Saves wear and tear on the recoil assembly and rope. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, thank you again. Uh, Bruce Simpson, buddy, good to see you. All the super chatters today, friends. I, I, I'm trying not to make a big deal of it, but it helps so much. So just thank you. Thank you all so much. Um, Monday tomorrow, I got some cutting to do. We'll see what the weather's like. We got a couple of tree jobs lined up. I got one to look at, one to cut on. Uh, yeah. Christine, thank you. Joe and Clayton, I don't know if you're still here. Thank you. Thomas, Thomas, my friend. Thank you for the nice message and the nice email today. Thank you to our moderators. Man, oh man, Mr. PC, how you doing? Mikey, Marty Rudder, great to see you. Everybody that helped out, thank you all. Have a good rest of your weekend. You bet, avoiding the future, you bet, buddy. Friends, take care. Work hard, be honest. Heavy on the be honest. See you on the next video.